today another loot crate box this time we've got the wizarding world harry potter themed loot crate subscription mystery box so this is only the second box i've ever gotten for the wizarding world loot crate i paid for an entire year which is every i think every other month and um this is the july 2019 box i just got it five months late so everybody pretty much we're getting our boxes now five months late i had i think i've gotten like one that was six months late and as early as four months so all these boxes were apart whenever loot crate was still owned by loot crate itself loot crate went bankrupt they're now owned by money chest llc which is pretty much financed by the neca company the neca company a major toy manufacturer so at least loot crate is back in good hands again with an actual company who has uh good business sense and uh hopefully will write the ship of loot crate so i had a total of maybe five or six different boxes that i paid for an entire year for back in early 2019 and i'm just now starting to get my boxes that i've been owed now for five months six months it's finally getting them in so a lot of people i've been hearing have me getting their boxes so it's good because the new owners of loot cray who bought them out they could have just closed the doors and been done with it because subscribers of boxes who prepaid for a year during the bankruptcy court use how it works is if the company goes bankrupt people who've already gave money to the company we don't get our money back it doesn't happen so i've actually purchased from companies in the past who've gone bankrupt and once they go bankrupt, your money's gone. You don't get it back. Because the, the bankruptcy courts will first, once they liquidate the company's assets, they will pay back any vendors that are owed. They'll pay back the banks and so on. The customers that are owed product, we're, we're the last persons to get anything from the bank bankruptcy courts. So, at least I'm happy I'm actually getting what I'm owed. Some boxes have been kind of just thrown together other boxes have been decent actually with this harry potter box you pretty much picked what like house you wanted i picked gryffindor just because you know i just picked gryffindor should have picked slytherin though should have picked slytherin but here we go we got a t-shirt right on top let's do it first why not t-shirt it's like a marble kind of a t-shirt it's very very soft I'll show you first. Okay, this shirt is extremely thin. Wow. Okay, what's this look like? Mandrake. Warning, earmuffs must be worn. Okay, so Luke Craig exclusive t-shirt, Mandrake. It is a uh, Harry Potter, like, made Harry Potter brand t-shirt. If you can see through this how thin the shirt is like I'm not sure if you can like see through it okay here's here's the sharpie behind it you see it's white that's how thin this shirt is it is extremely thin uh, it's very soft but it's kind of a cheap quality t-shirt actually the 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 neck on it's already starting to stretch out as I just like touch it it's 96 percent polyester at least it won't shrink so, yeah, something like this, I'll probably end up just donating to Goodwill or something. Well, not Goodwill, because I, I donate to better companies than Goodwill. Yeah, I, I have my issues with Goodwill. I rather donate to, like, a local church, Salvation Army, places places like that, you know, if I'm going to donate stuff. But here's the first item. Okay. Go back in. There's one, two, three, maybe four things left in here. Uh, next, we've got keep off the durigible plums. I don't even know what that means. Okay, to be honest, I've talked about this with the first box I did. I've only seen the first like three Harry Potter movies, maybe four of them. They're okay. I I enjoyed them. I actually own the whole series. I just have never watched it. I've never read the books. I honestly just got this box, this subscription box, just to review it on youtube yeah honestly and it was half price so i don't know what what this even means keep off the dirt drinkable plums 
no clue what that means. But it's a magnet. Okay. Here's something big right on top. Herbology 101 wall tapestry. 60 by 60. That's actually a pretty good size. Herbology, a wall tapestry. I'm going to leave this in the packaging. I want to take it out because I'm actually, honestly, I'm just going to sell this. I'm not, I'm not going to keep this. Hopefully on the cheat sheet, I'll have the picture of what this thing actually looks like outside the package. But I'm guessing, I mean, I remember like the herb from like one of the movies I saw. So I'm guessing this must be on the wall maybe or some kind of a poster that's on the wall in the movie. Here we have monthly pin. We got Oh. It's 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 inside. Monthly pin. There we go. It is the Kelpie. I don't know what that is. I don't remember that from any of the movies. Maybe I should have remembered that, but I don't. Kelpie? It says Department for the Magical Creatures, Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. Some kind of creature, a Kelpie. So, okay, there's a pin you can wear around on your shirt, I guess, if that's what you want to do. Next item. Loot Crate exclusive, it says on the back of it. Looks like a leaf. A bow truckle handkerchief. It's purple. And it is a handkerchief. It's a very, very thin, cheap handkerchief. I wouldn't even call this a handkerchief. This is more just it's like a piece of fabric. So I picked Gryffindor House. I'm not sure what about this was Gryffindor, like Gryffindor themed. I don't know. The last box I had, Gryffindor, like the actual t-shirt was Gryffindor. The items were Gryffindor themed. So I don't know if everybody this time, since they've gone bankrupt, if we're all just going to get the same stuff now or something. I don't know. I haven't watched any other YouTubers unbox this box to even know. Maybe everybody's just getting the same stuff now, you know, just to fulfill people's orders, I guess. So I think that was the last thing. Yeah. Got the cheat sheet. There's the inside of the box. And the cheat sheet. Looks like this theme was magical plants was the theme. Says, from the foreboding foliage of the Forbidden Forest to the herbology gardens of the Hogwarts greenhouses, we've cultivated a collection of magical plants to help you enjoy the great outdoors. This creates magical loot. So yeah, this wasn't themed towards any house. It was just a magical plant. So it didn't really matter what house you chose this time. We all got the same stuff it looks like. So the handkerchief, the bow handkerchief, like Newt Scamander, you can take your leaf, leafy friend with you wherever you go with a stylish bow truckle handkerchief. Herbology Tapestry, study up for your Herbology Owls, O-W-L-S, I don't, I don't know. With this tapestry features some of the most well-known magical plants in the Wizarding World, so that's actually what the tapestry looks like is right there without unfolding the entire thing. That's what it looks like. Mandrake t-shirt. Mandrake root can be used to revive those who have been petrified, but it cries can be leaf. I remember that from the movies. I remember that now. The the plant that revives people. I, mean, I remember that now. So, Durigable Plum Magnet Set. Some wizards believe dur, dur, Durigable Plums enhances one's ability to accept the extraordinary. I don't remember that still. Kelpie enamel pin. This next pin is our Magical Creatures series. Is the Kelpie a shape-shifting water demon which often appears as a horse with bulrushes for a mane? I also don't remember that either. So it says all items created exclusively for this crate. So that is the Wizarding World July 2019 Wizarding World Loot Crate subscription mystery box. So what's my thoughts of this? I think the price is things like what 30 bucks. I think. I got it for half price, so I mean, 
If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you should like this stuff. I mean, the t-shirt's kind of cool. Very cheap, but cool. Cool tapestry. You know, if you want to hang something to your wall, handkerchief, a pin, some strange magnets. I mean, if you're into Harry Potter, if this is your thing, you should like this box. I'm not like into Harry Potter. I've just seen a couple of the movies and I just bought this box just to review it from somebody who doesn't really know much about the franchise. My honest opinion, if you paid 30 bucks for this, you should be happy. You should be mad about this. I don't think so. So Loot Crate, two thumbs up. Good job. But t-shirt quality, make it a little bit better next time. This is super, super thin. Anyway, I'll see you next time and I'm out.